Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In my previous video, we covered the first five steps that you will need to take when applying for your PE exam. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the last five steps and show you how to complete your application. Please note, information in this video was taken from various sources, including PE Exam Coach, for which I will provide links to in the description of this video. Now, before I walk you through the last five steps to apply for your PE license and to take the PE exam, please remember that there will be slight differences in the process depending on which state you are applying to. Most states provide detailed checklists indicating the process as well as the application process on their respective state board websites. Before we get started here, let me quickly recap the first five steps that I covered in my previous video, which you can find in the comments below. Step one, review application instructions. Remember to review the instructions thoroughly before diving in to ensure that you fully understand the specific process for your state. Step two, create an account with NCEES. Once you register with NCEES, you will be issued an NCEES ID number to be used when taking the PE exam you may be asked to provide it on your license application. So keep that number in a safe place. Step three, create an account with your state board. Creating an account with your state board is an option in some states. Doing this, if an option, will allow you to save your application process and check the status through their website, making the process easier. Step four, complete your PE license application. Use your state's online portal, if available, or print and mail the documentation to them. Some states require the original application to be mailed to them, not by email or fax. Step five, pay the application and state fees. Application fees range from $80 in Texas to $377 plus in New York. The board's website will detail the fees associated with applying for and taking your PE exam. Now, let's look at steps six through 10. Step six, complete the state law and ethics exam. Most states have an additional exam covering ethics and the engineering laws and rules in that state. You can complete these online or print and mail them in. These are open book, so you can do them at your own pace. Step seven, submit application and supporting documentation online or by mail. Use a tracking delivery service for the portions of the application and supporting documentation that you send by mail. Your board's website may have an application tracker. This can help you to keep track of what the board has received and what they still need from you. Step eight, register online for the NCEES PE exam. Once approved by your state board, you will still need to register for the PE exam on the NCEES website. And of course, this is for states that require board approval first. Some states require board approval before sitting for the PE exam, while some don't. Now, three very important things that you should know here in this step. Number one, once the board and NCEES communicate, you will be able to proceed with selecting a testing location on the NCEES website. Number two, note that registering for the exam is an additional step that you must complete on your own. If the board approves you to take the test, you are not automatically registered for the next PE exam in the NCEES system. Number three, during this step, you will choose which discipline you will test in. Whichever you choose here will show up on your exam authorization. You will be required to test in that discipline on test day, so choose wisely. Step nine, Register online with a testing agency if required in your state. Some states use a third-party exam administration service instead of the exam administration services provided by NCEES. This step determines where you will take the exam and helps you reserve your seat for test day. They may ask you to provide your NCEES ID number, additional documentation, and pay an additional fee you will then choose which discipline you will test in during this step. 
Again, you'll be required to test in that discipline on test day. Step 10, track your application. Most state boards will track the status of your application via their website and or possibly send you email notifications. Some state boards don't provide this service due to the workload involved, but instead offer alternative options. For example, California allows you to send two self-addressed stamp postcards or envelopes so that the board can send these out to you when your application is received or processed. The board will notify you by mail that you are approved to be a licensed engineer or are eligible to sit for the PE exam. Their website may also offer a tracking option that will notify you of your approval. The board will then give you further instructions on registering for the exam or processing your new PE license. Now the board will also notify you by mail if your application was not approved. They typically retain your application for a year or two. If you file again within that period, you can use the references, transcripts, and other information submitted with the first application on the newer application. However, if you file again after that period, all information including references and transcripts must be submitted again and will be considered a new application. Application fees are typically not refundable, no surprise there. So plan on resubmitting another application fee when reapplying. I hope you found this video helpful. In my upcoming video, I will be interviewing a professional engineer who has authored a book on passing the PE exam. He will provide some great tips to help you pass your PE exam successfully. Pass the PE exam videos will publish weekly. So please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.